Well, everyone, um, I've been working away here to uh, drill out and retap these um, manifold bolt holes for my Yamaha. And, um, well, i just reminded of that old meatloaf song, uh, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. Um, that's kind of what I got here. Anyway, so let me see if I can show you what I've got. So, <clears throat> I mentioned that uh, there was three holes that had broken. I've gotten this one repaired and uh, it works good. Um, and so I was able to drill it out and repair it. And then uh, this one here as well. And I was able to get it uh, retapped. Works good. However, I'm a little disappointed. Um, I don't know how to repair this. I have an idea, but anyway, uh, this one, I don't know if you can see it or not, if I can get it into focus. This one was not so good. I was trying to tap it, and you can see I was uh, working away at it. I was uh, getting along with it, but and then it broke. Broke out the top of the uh, casting. Um, maybe I was off center a little bit. I don't really know, but all I know is that it's broken. And so um, <clears throat> I've got a couple of ideas about how to repair this. One is to uh, um, take it in and get it welded. And so weld the whole thing up and then uh, um, and rescrew it. Put a put a new hole in and retap the whole thing. Uh, that's probably the best idea. Trouble is, I'm going to have to remove the motor, or at least the head. And I don't really want to do that. I'm not really crazy about that concept. Um, I think what I might do. You'll notice the holes down here. Um, is is replace the manifold. Um, put it up here find out where exactly that hole is because I think I was a little high, don't you? A little high on that one and um, drill it a little lower this time after I get it to, and then afterwards uh, put in a helicoil uh, and after that get some JB Weld and fill it up over the top of the helicoil um, and uh, hopefully with the JB Weld I won't have to get it out to get welded. I don't know. It's um, aluminum is so stinking easy to break, and uh, I broke it obviously. So there you go. That's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, just um, if anybody has an idea uh, apart from what I've mentioned, which is number one to weld it, number two to uh, put in a helicoil. Um, after uh, making sure I get the hole exactly where it needs to be uh, and then putting in JB Weld. Um, I know I can probably heat the aluminum up and attempt to use an aluminum brazing rod. That's another solution. I don't know if it's a good one, but anyway, that's there's a few things uh, that uh, that I have to consider. Anyway, just thought I'd bring these up to date. It's a short video. Um, as I said, two out of three ain't bad. So I got that one working great. And I got this one working really good. Here, it's fixed. It takes the bolt nicely. But that one right there, stink. It's not so good. Anyway, well, um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Bye.